Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so earlier this week, I was downloading some files and it was just taking forever. Finally, I thought, you know, to hell with this. I'm gonna download and install Transmission and speed this process up. And if you don't know what that means, well, stick around and I'll tell you next on Low Res DIY. So it all started when I tried to download Ubuntu 20.10 desktop version. Went to the site, click download, wait for it to start going, and boom, I'm looking at two hours, three hours, two hours, just bounce back and forth. It, extremely slow, especially when it's only 2.7 gigabytes. So that was kind of aggravating to me which led me to decide, hey, we're going to install Transmission, which is a program that utilizes torrents. Now, basically what a torrent is, it's information that knows, hey, you want to download this specific file, in my case, Ubuntu 20.10 desktop. And there's all these other computers out there that are giving you access to them to download it. But they're designating a very, very small download speed of, say, like 0.5 megabytes per second or something like that something extremely slow which if you were going to that one server or that one computer it would take even longer than two or three hours it should take just forever for that to happen but the torrent has the information in it to know that it's not only that computer but it's that one that one that one that one and it'll it'll take all those computers be it 5 10 15 500 a thousand computers and start downloading from all of them at one time and max out your your uh, download speed that your ISP uh, that you're paying for from your ISP um, takes all that information brings it into transmission kind of puts it back together into an actual usable file that you can utilize to do whatever you wanted to do with it you know in my case install Ubuntu desktop on it so let's get into it with this I started a transmission container the resources the 512 megabytes uh, of RAM and swap uh, just two cores and for the network I gave it the gateway of my private internet access uh, container so to install transmission start the uh, start the container up do your app uh, update and your app upgrade and then we're going to just get right into it and the first thing we're going to want to do or the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to install the repository or tell the ubuntu server where to find the repository to update uh transmission every time you do an app dash or an apt update and an up get apt upgrade after this so I'll put all these commands in the description, like always. The first one, uh, I did it kind of quick there on you, sorry, was apt install software properties common. And what this does, this just allows you to run this command, which actually tells the system where the repository is so it, it can update from it. So copy and paste this in, hit enter. Hit enter again to allow it. Okay, repository's in. Now let's install transmission and all of its dependencies. This command right here, install transmission, GTK, CLI, common, and then the Damien. So you hit enter. Yes, we want to install it. So once the installation process is complete, there's a couple things I want to do before I start trying to utilize transmission. One of them is I want to disable the whitelist. And what the whitelist is, it's just a list of computers that you designate uh, as being allowable to access your installation of transmission. Right now, there are no computers designated. You'd have to go in and put in all the IP addresses of all the computers you wanted to, to use myself i i uh i'm not going to fool around with that so i'm just going to disable the whitelist and 
to do that, first thing we're going to need to do is stop transmission from running because once you once you uh, uh, install it, it's going to start running right away. So the way we stop it is service transmission damien stop hit enter let it stop running and then we're going to edit this file right here this nano and then all the way down to settings.json so you hit enter and the lines we're going to want to change are in the rcp we're going to want to change rcp whitelist enabled we're going to want to change that from true to false and while we're in here, I'm going to also change the username and password. Default username and password for transmission are transmission and transmission. So I want to change that. So the first one I'll change is the password. The next one I'm going to change is the username. Then I'll do a control X. Yes, I want to save it. And let's start the service back up. And how we do that is pretty much the same way uh, we stopped it, except we put start at the end of it. So now transmission, it's up and running. It, the whitelist has been disabled and you have uh, reaffirmed or changed what the uh, username and password are. So open a new tab, go to the IP address that you designated for your transmission container and then you want to access it through port 9091 hit enter and here it is hmm. i wonder why it didn't ask for a username and password oh i had installed this once earlier just to make sure it worked and uh uh chrome must have uh the user i did save the username and password in it so Normally it would bring a window up asking you the username and password. If you changed it, put the ones you utilized uh, uh, in the uh, JSON file in here, hit enter, and it'll bring this up. If you didn't change it, it's transmission and transmission. So basically we're ready to start downloading something right now. But I wanna designate, see earlier I set up this container to utilize my, uh, a share on my free nas server as the area that it goes to download where, where all the downloads go to once i start them so there'll be another video for that later i haven't created it yet but once i do i'll put the link how to do that in the description but i need to tell transmission where that directory is and i mounted it to the mount directory so Put that in and we're good. So I've already went out and found a torrent to download Ubuntu 20.10 desktop. The way we're gonna start this is we're gonna come here. We're not gonna left click on that link. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to copy link. We're gonna go back to transmission and we're gonna hit this little file up here. Click on that and it says enter a URL, right click paste your URL in there, click upload, give it a second. You'll see here it's verifying local data and it's doing a search. Okay. Now it took a couple seconds for it to, to run out and start looking for peers. It found 13. Now it's found 50 of them and it is starting to download from nine of those peers now it's up to 37 you can see normally the blue line would be all the way back here but like i said i was testing it earlier and it's almost done right now it's only got a couple seconds left take my word for it though it was a lot quicker it went from the downloading it from the ubuntu site that was going to take me two to three hours it changed it to i think it was 15 minutes you know what let's uh Let's stop this up. Oh, it just finished. Let's remove this guy from the list. We're going to remove him. We're going to go into my free NAS server to transmission and we're going to delete it. And then we're going to start that guy up again, and see how long it's going to take. So it's going back out. 
looking for peers. Found 29 of them so far. 50 peers starting to download from 13 of them, 14 of them. But you can see right here, 37 minute minutes remaining, 20 minutes remaining. It's up to utilizing 13 peers, which is 13, well, 38 other computers out there on the internet somewhere that are helping me download this faster. 50, 51 peers. You can go through settings. I believe you can change the number of peers that you download from to a max of like, I don't know, 250 or who knows. Let's see, peers. Right now I have it at a max of 200 and uh, a max per torrent of, let's change that to 200. See if it finds any more. Doesn't look like it's going to, but it really doesn't matter because it's taking me a quarter of the time or less to download this file, which is pretty nice compared to the way it was going. So a couple things I want to throw out there. A lot of people go to places like torrents.com uh, or to uh, the Pirate Bay and they utilize transmission and bit torrents to download pirated movies or pirated music, video games whatever it, it, if you look for it it's it's out there if you're going to use this for something nefarious like that i mean it's illegal i wouldn't do it but if you do i suggest you get a vpn and and run everything through a vpn kind of like i have it going through my private internet access vpn and if you don't know how to do that i'll leave a link into a video that shows you how to set that container up uh for your for your use so uh until next time hit that subscribe button like it if you liked it and thanks for watching <laughs>